to extract every bit of information that he possibly can from him. And I, I think in the midst of it, uh, while he's trying to create this future for, for, for apes, it, there's, a, there's a real adoration for humans as well, because he's like, look at how they dominated for so long, you know? Like, I mean, he's, he's learning about the history of Homo sapiens going back to when there were seven different species of humans. This stuff isn't in the script, this is just me. Uh, why did Homo sapiens come out on top? And why and how did they rule for so long? How did they evolve so quickly and achieve everything that they, they did through the agricultural revolution, the industrial revolution, you know? The, uh, all, all the technology that they created, especially in the, the last century, uh, you know, he's incredibly inspired by that. So he, he, he does have a, a love for it, you know. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, he's off working with paints too and like trying to figure out how to be as elevated as possible. I missed ape school because I didn't start until later on. So I had a one-on-one -on -one ape school with Alain. To understand the actual uh, anatomical differences between you know, our human bodies and, and the specific ape that you were playing. So I'm the only bonobo uh, so far in, in this world. Um, so he and I, he helped me uh, kind of understand all of that. Uh, so the physicality was, uh, you know, I had a good like four weeks just working with him pretty much every day, talking about it, exploring, trying to figure it out. And it was a really exciting process because I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm OCD. So once I grab onto something, I can't let it go until I figure it out. And, uh, once the body was all there, you know, I would, after working with Alain, you know, we'd be on set and out of nowhere, Owen Teague would see me and we would go into these, he would just start these improvisations. He, he invited me into this world that he's been in and we would go off for like a half hour doing these improvisations and developed so much, uh, subtext between us and um, just a brilliant guy, brilliant actor. He's so wonderfully collaborative. Um, you know, he, he, he and, and uh, you know, um, Jason and Joe, like the way that they set it up for us to have this training. And then when we come in and where these apes, then he gets to, uh, he, he guides us very gently. Um, he knows exactly what he wants. He's very playful. He's, he's, he's will, he, he, he allows for, um, you know, like if we're feeling something, you know, to, to go with it. And, you know, sometimes some of the greatest gold is, 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 is mine from, from some of these little pieces, uh, you know, um, it, it's just, uh, it, it's, it's a really wonderful collaborative experience. And, and like from the beginning when he was first telling me about the world and everything, he, he has been obsessively uh, in this world so much longer than, than us. And so it's wonderful to have his perspective and, and that, that, that guidance, you know, it's been amazing. The production design is so stunning, and um, working with this technology um, is 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 so liberating. Because e even when you're not on an actual practical set, you have a really good idea of what it's going to be because they already have these uh, these these worlds that we're actually walking through. You see them as we're shooting sometimes with this one. Uh, so um, 
it's not hard to imagine that you're there in that spot, even when we are in volume. But then when you're on these sets, then it feels, everything just feels so legitimate and real. And uh, every, my, 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 my kingdom, uh, you know, the, the, the hall, my dining hall, it's like every single aspect of that place was just so immersive that when I'm sitting on my throne and Noah's walking in for the first, it, it's, there's no, there's no guesswork. I'm just there because they've created it in such a beautiful way. Well, first off, I just hope that we can just, you know, provide the ultimate escapism for them. Um, but then when they leave the theater, you know, that it makes them really think, like I said, like really kind of take a good look at themselves. And you know, I feel like as humans, we're, we are evolving. We've created a lot of problems, but I believe that we are evolving in, in a positive way, even if you know, we're constantly being reminded of all the, the negative. Um, uh, hopefully this film just reminds us to continue on a path where we can uh, be more honest about the reflection we see in the mirror and, and the imprint that we're leaving on our planet. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's a pretty big buffet of what we're hoping they walk away with, you know.